Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another First You Friday video. And since Halloween is coming up, it's time to get spooky! We all have things that scare us, and sometimes a few of those fears can be irrational or require some explanation. So today I'm going to share with you guys some stuff that I'm weirdly afraid of. Also, I'm going to avoid the use of any actually scary graphics in this video, just in case other people are scared of the same stuff as me. And in exchange, maybe don't use any of my fears against me. Cool? Cool. Our first fear for the day is... Needles. <laughs> this is by far the most typical fear on my list, but it's the extent of this fear that puts it on this list. Like, my fear of needles is so bad that not only do I have to brief the doctor before I get a shot, but I also can't stand the sight of a needle or a syringe, even if it's on a movie, a video game, or on the TV. For real, I still haven't seen the entirety of American Horror Story Asylum because I couldn't handle all the medical scenes. I've literally seen every other season of this show except this one. I want to, but I do scared. Fear number two, horror movie cliches. Yep, I'm scared of stuff that happens in movies. You know those scenes in scary movies that are very obviously leading up to a jump scare? Like if the character opens up the refrigerator door and closes it, and the monster's right there! Or they open the medicine cabinet in the bathroom, and when they close it, the killer is right behind them in the mirror! This is why I keep my stuff on the sink. I have a very real fear of horror movie cliches like that happening to me in real life. I don't even know what caused this fear in the first place, but every time I go down to the fridge to get a late night snack, I get spooked. Fear number three, tickling. Okay, so unlike the previous one, this fear actually has a reason for it. I am definitely ticklish. And where I would normally say I go into a fight or flight instinct, when it comes to getting tickled, I go into a flight or flight. It's so painful. Like, I actually feel really bad for my friends that don't know I'm ticklish, because friends have given me pets while I've been in fursuit, and they just accidentally tickle me. Oh yeah, and I'm like really hypersensitive to it. I mean, I'm talking about actual pain. Like, on some rare occasions, I'll just be on the floor laughing and convulsing, and I look like a crazy person. On the one hand, this fear is kind of funny. On the other hand, I don't like being in pain. The lesson here is to ask a fursuiter before you touch them because they might have death tickles. And now, our fourth and final fear for today is... Urban legends, ooh. Like, internet creepypastas are scary and stuff, but there's something especially spooky about local legends that have been spread through word of mouth. I have a bit of an odd fascination with folklore and urban legends, but boy do they freak me out sometimes. Like, sometimes I'll just go down a YouTube rabbit hole and I'll spend hours just learning about it and listening to stories. But when it comes time for me to sleep, I end up being awake all night being scared of every noise in my entire house. I think this is because urban legends always have a tendency to take place in one of two places. Either a remote town off the main road, or in a quiet, sleepy suburb. And guess who grew up in a quiet, sleepy suburb? This guy! So thanks a bunch for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you also have some things that you're weirdly scared of? Go ahead and share it in the comments down below. It can be something silly or something spooky or anywhere in between. And if you guys really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below for new videos every week. Also, if you'd like to support the content that I make on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box down below. And speaking of patrons, I'd like to thank these amazing Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I'd like to thank these amazing patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Psh.